Welcome to Tradespoon. My name is Lakar Pell. I'm CEO and founder of Tradespoon. And today I'd like to go over current market conditions, what to expect from CPI, PPI data this week, the range that the market can trade, and some of the opportunities in the market. Disclosures are very important. If you're new to trading stock or options, I encourage you to visit the link on your screen, optionscreen.com, so you can understand the risk associated with trading stock or options. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, not registered with Finland or CC. I'm showing you what I do in my own account, based in my own risk tolerance level for general education information purposes only. You can pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. All right, let's take a look at the market. As we approach in CPI data, the model did turn negative. Negative trend for today predicted 519 by 514. We actually reached both extremes, right? 520, uh, and I think the low was 514, close to 514 um, on the market. Um, if you zoom out for the six months, support is at 506, overhead resistance is at 555. So 50-day moving average is around 506. I think tomorrow, on harder than expected CPI data, I think we could get to 500, 506. But I think this level will hold and buyers will step in as earnings season starts. Wednesday, tomorrow, actually, Delta Airlines, and then Friday, JP Morgan, uh, Citigroup, and BlackRock Group um, are announcing earnings. So long-term trend is still positive. So I assume, I think the best strategy is buying on a pullback as we get close to the 506 level. Again, it's all about CPI data and uh, uh, PPI data and FID optimism in index uh, came in less than expected, right? So small banks, small businesses are still kind of uh, um, have negative uh, uh, sentiment towards the economy. Uh, but we do have a core CPI, FOMC meeting minutes, and then we have ECB decision and PPI. So expect more volatility Thursday and Friday. You can see it in the stock prices of NVIDIA. It did actually break through April lows, right? It made new lows today. It broke through um, the key support level, uh, which is the lows going back to March. Um, if this level doesn't hold, if we don't get, if we have worse than expected CPI and PPI data, we can get above um, today's uh, high. I think uh, mark, if, uh, market is, uh, NVIDIA is vulnerable to reach at least 775 level, right? After the NVIDIA, basically give up all of the gains after NVIDIA earnings. So tomorrow is going to be important for NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been volatile. You can see similar volatility in uh, spiders, right? Today we did reach uh, 514, right? We retested the lows uh, from last week. So this level is important, 5.12. If we don't hold to 5.12, then the 50-day moving average of 5.05. Uh, where NVIDIA earnings are, right? So I think right now the pattern is where NVIDIA is going is where the rest of the market is going to go. It used to be Apple, and now it's NVIDIA. So all eyes on CPI, PPI data. I Personally, I think it makes sense to be a buyer into pullbacks. Um, one of my core positions is gold, silver materials. Energy oil has been trending higher. This is one of the strongest sector. I did buy gold, trimmed it a little bit, and continue to trim as it rallies. Um, and gold continues to make uh, new all-time highs as people are concerned about the inflation and for longer. We do have a live trading room tomorrow. Please join us on YouTube. Search for the word trade spoon. Hit and subscribe. And we do have a live trading room available via YouTube, so please join us if you have time. Thank you very much, and have a great day.